This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. Police are looking for a man who sexually assaulted and shot a 12 year old boy. Miami Dade police say the boy was walking near Northwest 43rd Terrace and 30th Avenue early Saturday morning. That's when he was abducted at gunpoint by someone in a black four door car. The boy was eventually able to get away and get help at a store. He was then taken to Ryder Trauma Center in critical condition. Police say the suspect is a tall Hispanic man with curly hair. Eligibility for the coronavirus vaccine expands today in Florida. People 40 and older can now get their shot, along with teachers and school employees 18 and up. Eligibility expands to all adults 18 and up one week from today, April 5th. Meantime, a big milestone at the FEMA supported site on Miami Dade College's North Campus. 100,000 doses have been given there since the beginning of this month. The site is giving out 1,200 first doses each day for the next week. From Everglades National Park, one man under arrest after investigators say he shot at park rangers. Earlier in the day, rangers had responded to a domestic violence incident involving that same man. When they arrived, he drove off, later ditched the car. They believe he then ran into the woods armed. When they found him about 20 miles from the homestead entrance, he fired at the rangers. Nobody was hurt, thankfully, but rangers did say it took about two hours before he surrendered. No word on what charges he may end up facing. Now for an update on the man who went missing after falling off a personal watercraft. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation says they found Alexander Garcia's body Saturday. The 20 year old was at a West Miami Dade Lake with his girlfriend Tuesday when they say he fell off. Crews rescued his girlfriend, but Garcia disappeared. Authorities are still investigating what led to this incident. So much needed good news this morning. An 11 year old struggling with an autoimmune disorder who has been wanting a puppy. Make a wish South Florida heard her and they managed to make that dream a reality. Camila Murillo was surprised with a Maltese poodle mix. She's an only child and says she gets lonely and that's where Molly comes in, hopefully providing the love and companionship they both needed. I am really, really, really happy. My favorite thing about Molly is... Mm, everything. Make-A-Wish also helped out with all of the accessories to take care of her new best friend. Now, CBS4 weather. It's a warm start to Monday, but check it out. Winds have been calm and for the most part, mostly clear skies. So Kendall has dropped to 70 degrees right now, 69 in Homestead. But other than that, uh, areas along the coast and in the Keys in the mid 70s, there's a front hitting the brakes into north central Florida. Lots of cloud cover for parts of the peninsula for here, though, we'll still have that warm sunshine. But there's some relief from the heat in the panhandle. Not so much for us with a high of 86. Jennifer, thank you. That's our news update for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.